Nomadic Museum is designed to be transformed to city to city and country to country. The biggest challenge is how to make the building transportable economically. So I try to look for the material which I can borrow the, the, the only short period of time everywhere in the world. Then I found the shipping container. The shipping container is made of the international standard. The museum was first designed for the site in New York on the Hudson River. The pier itself is very narrow and 200 meter long. And also, as you may know, this pier was designed to receive uh, Titanic, which didn't arrive actually. So it's very old wooden pier. Structure is very weak. So I had to design the structure uh, very light. In order to minimize uh, the weight of the building and the uh, number of the containers, I created a checkerboard pattern so that I can make the same length of the wall with a half a number of the containers. Also, it's create, instead of having this continuous wall, this uh, checkerboard pattern create the light and shadow. Right now I'm uh, developing uh, the, the new furniture uh, which I'm hoping to bring to the, uh, my new Pompidou Center uh, because uh, the, uh, the idea of the, this uh, furniture came from the idea of the, the timber roof in some Pompidou Center I met. So I try to design something which has a relationship to the main building. My dream is designing the, the bridge. The bridge is so romantic because connecting two places used to be separated. And now uh, maybe my sole dream is realizing I'm, I designed a bridge, actually a temporary bridge, next to the Pont de Guerre in, in France. Uh, it's a, the, the world heritage uh, Roman uh, aqueduct. I'm designing the bridge in paper with students this summer. I always use existing material differently. Even using recycled paper or this laminated timber, it's a standard product. Maybe I have some very abstract idea. I'm looking, always looking for something. And when I see something close, I just connect its material or shape with something I'm abstractly thinking.